Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tyler. Welcome back to another 15 minute workout. Super excited to have you here. We're gonna get started pretty quickly. All we're gonna be targeting today is gonna be that upper body, of course, our biceps and our back. It's one of my favorite combinations. You're just gonna need two dumbbells. I'm gonna do about a medium weight for myself, but let's dive right in because we got 15 minutes. Let's be super productive and get this over with. All right, let's dive right in. We're gonna start with alternating dumbbell rows. So let's grab those dumbbells and get started with our first 30 seconds of lifting and then on to our 30 second break. You know the drill. Let's go. Got these two dumbbells. They're gonna bend over slightly here. Take it down, hinging a little bit at the waist and bam, it's gonna be that row. We're gonna do alternating. So let's get started. Two on each side. Alternating dumbbell rows for 30 seconds. You want to keep that back flat if you can. Shouldn't be feeling any tension there. And again, we're in no rush. Just do as many as you can. What feels good. And let's take a break. Bam. Let's do that 30 second break now. All right. One set done. Two sets to go. You know the drill. You've been with me a while now. So let's enjoy this break. We have about 15 more seconds. Remembering to stretch. It's going to be super important with the back. These are pretty good to target. Of course, the biceps as well. Ready? Let's go. Bent over and then again. Two back. Two back. Alternating the right and left. I like to do two at a time. Let's me focus on the form a little bit there. Feeling the heat, feeling that body warm up. Keeping the eye on the clock. We've got about 12 seconds left. Break. All right, let's take our break. Second set done. One set to go. Then we'll be done with our first exercise. Of course, as usual, we're gonna do five exercises. 30 seconds of lifting, 30 seconds of break time. You know the drill. Don't need to tell you the instructions anymore. I wanna get right into this workout. So we're busy people. In this 15 minutes, we wanna cram as much in as we can to get on with the rest of our day. All right, three seconds left. We're gonna do our last set. Let's do it. Hey, I see you there. <laughs> All right, feeling the burn, feeling the heat. Got about eight seconds left. Making sure to extend those arms all the way and break. Okay, so we finished our first exercise. Again, we're keeping things moving. Let's keep with the stretching. Got this 30 second break now, which is about 15 seconds left now. Now we're gonna move into a bicep workout using just one dumbbell. So you can set one to the side. I'm gonna increase my weight a little bit here. I really wanna focus on building up these biceps today. And what you're gonna do to get started is grab that weight. You're going to plant it here, kind of holding the top, and you're just going to curl for 30 seconds. What I like about these is they really help to stabilize the shoulders so you're not overcompensating like I always do with my shoulders and can make it a nice solid bicep lift. Three more seconds. <sighs> awesome. Cool. One down, two to go. Let's take advantage of this break time. This Florida garage has already got me sweating. Doesn't take much. Move my dumbbells to the side here a little bit so I can get a nice, better stretch area. Oh, twists are always good. About five more seconds of this break and we're on to our next set. Let's do it. Okay, grab it similarly to before and let's go. 
bicep curl for another 30 seconds. We're not in a rush, but I'm trying to cram in as many as I can today. Let's do another 15 seconds. About seven seconds. Let's push it today. All right, three, two, one. All right, second break of the second exercise. Whew. Biceps are starting to feel it. That's a good thing. Whew. Back is starting to feel it too. That's a good thing. Whew. Got about 10 seconds left on this break. And then we're into our last set of our second exercise. Time is flying. We're busy people, we know how that goes. Ready? Let's do it. All right. 10 seconds down, 20 seconds to go. Keeping that core tight is really helpful. Keeping the shoulders planted, it's really helpful. Downward. Five seconds. One. Oh, all right. Believe it or not, those are harder than they look. And it's interesting because it didn't feel like a lot of weight, but they're growing. Hopefully yours are too. All right, let's get rid of that dumbbell. Now we're gonna be doing something called a motion twist, very similar to what we were doing initially with the dumbbell row. But follow along, you're gonna start in pronation and then in supination. So in the previous video we talked about. All right, you all ready? So we're going to take it, dumbbells in hand, bend down again, this time, whew, the row, we're gonna twist our arms like this. So on the midway up, you twist. Let's do another five seconds. All right, three, two, one. Okay, let's take a break. First break of our third exercise. Those are a little interesting. Um, you should be feeling it in your biceps, in your upper back. If you're not, take a minute, think about it. Watch some, me doing it again. Watch some clips online. Um, it might take a minute. It's all right. It took me a minute to get this one. <sighs> Got about five seconds left here. Give us a little more break time. <sighs> Remembering to stretch. You ready? Second set. Let's do it. <sighs> Start in pro and in soup. Ten seconds left. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. Second one down of our third exercise. If you haven't seen a previous video, I talked about pronation, supination, pronation. So when the wrists are sort of like this, supination. I always remember because you can put your hands or wrists together to make a bowl of soup. <laughs> Super lame, but hey, it helps me remember. Let's break for another 10 seconds. And then our last motion twist with the dumbbells. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. All right, halfway done. Keep it burning. You got this. Three, two, one. All right. <laughs> We're done with our third exercise. Over halfway done with the whole thing. We're doing great. This 15 minute bicep and back workout. Whew. Let's give us a little bit extra break today. We deserve it. Oh my goodness, about 30 more seconds of this break period. 
Just want to give us a little extra time today. Stretch. Next up, we're going to do another bicep. So keep two of the dumbbells this time. We've done these before. We're going to do hammer curls, but instead of the traditional hammer curl, we're going to leave it at the top. Just giving us a pause there. Let's do it. 30 seconds, and then we'll have a break right after this. So you'll do first one up, second one up, down. First one up, second one down. Just like that. You can rest it a little bit on the top of the chest. That can help. Feeling the burn. Got about five seconds left. Let's do it. One. All right. Next break time. 30 seconds. Stretching it out. Stretching it out. First set of our fourth exercise is done, so that's good. Two more of these, then we'll be at our final exercise. <laughs> All right, y'all, three seconds left of this break. Let's get started. Okay, one up, two up. One down, one up, one down. One up, one down. Up, one down. One up, one down. But take it your own pace. If you want to follow me, that's awesome. If you want to go a little faster, that's awesome. If you want to go a little slower, that's awesome. <laughs> if you want a little heavier, make a little heavier, a little lighter, that's awesome too. Three seconds. One, two, three. All right, break time. So that is our second, second set of our fourth exercise. One left. And then we are moving on to our final stop, our final destination. Whew. About 12 seconds left. Make sure we're still moving, stretching. Oh, makes a big difference, especially with upper body, lower body, all the body. Ready? So this final one, all right? So we'll go up, up, down, up, down. Nice full extension there. Should be feeling it in those biceps. I am, 10 seconds left. We got this. We got this. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we did it. Cool. So we are done with our fourth exercise. We have one exercise left. And then we get to continue on with the rest of our luxurious, beautiful, fascinating day, whether it's the morning or the afternoon or the evening for you. Oh my goodness. So these are called dumbbell row ups, okay? So follow along with me. You're gonna grab both of your dumbbells. Similarly to before, we're going to be placing them sort of together like this, but similarly we'll be bending over and you're gonna do one, two, stand. All right, let's do it. One, two, stand. One, two, push out, hinge forward. There you go. Hinge. All right, let's do a couple more of these. All right. Break time, well deserved. <laughs> First set done, we have two left. Take your time on these, they're a little unusual for me too, I don't do them often. But a great thing to add in to a bicep upper back day. Definitely helping the sweat pour out. We got about 12 more seconds in this break and we'll have our final two sets. And we'll be feeling jacked. All right, y'all ready? Go ahead and grab these and start in a couple seconds. Let's go ahead. So, one, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. All right, let's do another 15 seconds. What do y'all think? 
All right, I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> My brain's getting confused. All right, just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, only got one left. And then we'll be done. So stretch out a little bit right before this final set. The day is just getting started or maybe it's just ending for you. Either way, definitely be proud that you're able to push 15 minutes more of activity into your day, whether you've already been to the gym or you're gonna go later, or this is your workout for the day. All of you matter. Whatever it is that's best for you, I'm just happy that you're here with me getting to work out together. This is a huge joy for me. So let's dive in to our last set here. Ready? Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> let's go. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, let's do another five seconds. Last one, one, two. Hey, you guys did it. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Drop these down, make a little sound. I'm so thankful to have had you join me today for this 15 minute bicep and back workout. This is one of my favorite days. Definitely will be doing more of these. If there are some days or something you want to work out, leave it in the contents below. Contents. Comments below. I'll um, be sure to address those so we can create some content directly for what you're looking for. Thank you again. I hope this was a great experience for you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great rest of your day.